Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, May 12th, and it is Mother's Day. So a very happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in your lives. Uh, if you are a mother, and I know that that's a relatively small part of the demographic that watches this channel, but if you are, uh, enjoy your mandatory brunch. Uh, I hope you have a great day. <clears throat> so it is a unpleasant day here for Mother's Day in southeastern Pennsylvania. It's cold and rainy and just, just yucky. But that's okay. It means we get to spend some more time down here in the shop. And uh, there's lots of good stuff going on, so I'm happy about that. So today, I got, uh, I wanted to go out. Got my uh, Tim Thorpe, I believe he called this a bent apple. Beautiful pipe. Great smoker. <clears throat> I really, really enjoy this pipe. You know, that, that term great smoker gets thrown around a lot. Uh, I don't know there's many pipes that I couldn't say that about, but this and you know one or two other of my pipes just really sort of is head and shoulders above the others, and it, it just really behaves beautifully. And I think that's because of the time, that uh, the time and, and, and the skill that Tim put into crafting the, the airway in this pipe. It just behaves wonderfully. And the tobacco I have today is uh, John Patton Oriental Dusk, and it is wonderful stuff. I've had it before. Um, I've been smoking a lot of Virginias lately, um, not for any good reason. It's just sort of what I fell into. And uh, I told you last time I was I was smoking this uh, Stokeby Norwegian blend, and uh, that that just was very light and you know it's. I kind of think of it as akin to like eating candy, you know, you know, like a piece of candy now and then and that's great, but if you ate nothing but candy, pretty soon you'd be wanting some steak, or if you're a vegan, a nice bowl of beans or whatever. Um, and, and that's the point that I got to. I just said enough, I need something deep and delicious and it'll make me happy. So I cracked open a jar of this um, Peter, uh, Peter. John Patton Oriental Dusk. Now this blend is, uh, it's a complex blend. It's, um, I'll let it go out. It's, um, it's burley, cigar leaf, there's some Virginia in there, um, and I believe there's some Oriental, well, there obviously are some Orientals, given the name. Um, very, very nice balance, though. It's not it's not an oriental forward blend, it's not a burly forward blend, it just, everything just fits together. Very smooth. Uh, just, just a great smoke. And in my opinion, all of the John Patton blends are, are great smokes. If you haven't tried them, I really recommend, you know, th this is a fantastic one. Dark Horse is another one that I really enjoy. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to remember his straight burly, um, uh, he's got a, he's got a straight burly that's fantastic. Uh, anyway, to, you, you can only buy John Patton blends through Four Noggins, I believe. I think they're actually blended by Four Noggins, uh, but they're really worth, uh, seeking out and trying. They're, they're just good, good quality stuff. Uh, he makes a vapor too that's very good. Obviously, I have not researched this before talking about it because I just can't remember the names of these other blends. But you know what? This might be uh, an opportunity for a future Tobacco Talk Tuesday, which, by the way, I, I do have a couple of those in the works. I, I was going to try to do at least one a month, and it just became impossible recently uh, with my work schedule and everything. But we'll, we'll get back to it. But yeah, I could talk about John Patton and the, the sort of the history of that blend, those blends, assuming I can find that information. And uh, yeah, it would be a nice, nice little short video. So, in terms of what's going on here, I, I mentioned the lighting. I've got half the lighting done at this point. So the far side of the, the shop, the, the side that I'm looking at, the lights are in completely over there. Now, they're not wired in permanently. Uh, the, 
the LED lights that I bought, they actually link together and then you can plug them in. I think you can link up to up to six of them in, in one line and then there's a plug at the end. I'm not doing that because I, I don't want them to overheat, so I think I'm doing like three. I've got five all the way across. I think I'm going to do three and then two on a separate line. And uh, they're ultimately going to be wired into boxes, not plugged in. But right now, I can plug in those three runs that I've got on that side of the shop, light that side up beautifully, and I can work over there. And I think that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, got uh, I'm going to ultimately be building some benches on that side uh, to put my uh, metal lathe on and also to make a an area just for pipes. And this area that I'm in right now uh, was originally for woodworking, uh, but it's sort of grown into pipes only. And uh, as I try to do more woodworking, it's you know, very cramped. So we'll have a pipe area over there, we'll have a metal lathe area over there, and probably some storage. And then we'll be revamping this side once that's all done. So, it's all going well. Keeping me quite busy. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned this last... Oh, by the way, sorry there wasn't a Friday uh, ramble video this week. That's going to happen from time to time. I, I just had a an engagement Friday evening, and it wasn't possible for me to to do that. And I thought about, you know, making a short video when I got home. But, you know. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I can only do what I can do, and I think you all appreciate that, so. Uh, but I'll, I'll try to get one this Friday, and uh, I like doing those, so they'll, they'll be pretty regular. Um, but I, I don't remember if I mentioned last week or not, but I have stopped taking orders at the website. I actually put up a notice at the top of the website the other day, um, and that is until the vision is fixed and all that stuff that I've talked about too much already. So uh, that's bad because I really enjoy working on pipes, and I don't have any pipes to work on now. But it's good because I, when I start working on them again, I'll be able to really see the detail that I need to see, and I'll do a better job. So that's freeing me up to do things like build benches, which is much larger details and easier to see. Especially now that I've got uh, really fantastic lighting, at least in, in half the shop. So, that's all going well. Um, beyond that, guys, I don't really have a lot to talk about today. And that's another reason why I haven't, uh, I, I didn't do anything on Friday, because I just, I didn't have any burning thoughts for you, uh, or anything that I really wanted to talk about. Uh, just been working a lot, and uh, when I'm not working, you know, and I, I mean my day job, when I'm not doing that, I'm trying to find some time to work down here, but the truth is I'm pretty tired uh, by the end of the day, so haven't haven't been getting as much time in down here as I'd like. At any rate, I don't want to jeopardize any more of your, your Sunday, especially given that it's Mother's Day, so go do something nice for your mother, the mother in your life. If your mother's no longer with us, as, as mine isn't, uh, take some time to remember her. Do something that she would enjoy. It, it'll keep her alive in your heart. And uh, just be, be good to all the mothers that you meet today. So with that, friends, I'm going to say goodbye. I uh, hope you all have a great week ahead. And until we talk again, I will look forward to speaking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.